Hello everyone, Far and Further here, and today I would like to talk about, again, <laughs> Altex Tubus Conversion Kit. But today, unfortunately, about the utter and complete failure of it on the rear wheel on the Tenere 700 when I was coming back from Albania. Now, I am a huge fan of this product uh, because I used it on the Sisu for almost five years and that installation is still not leaking and it still holds uh, absolutely fine. So the failure I had is something which I was really, really uh, like surprised about. So the second part of the video is going to be about this white thing, which is very widely recommended and used alternative to the Altex. And um, I want to install it on the rear wheel now because I want to try it um, and see how it works. And I want to compare these two solutions because there is a huge difference in them, in my opinion. And I think that um, it's really important to take some things into the consideration. So let's grab the camera and I show you the failure. And this is the damage. So what happened? is that the Altex layer has completely peeled off the rim. And if I can show, the rim is clean. There's, there's nothing of the Altex left. What happened in here is that the Altex just glued itself together. Oops. And that's about it. The only place where it still remains um, attached to the wheel is where the valve was. The Larry completely lost its stickiness. So the white one is the protective one. This one should be sticky as hell and basically nothing. Another point is um, you can see that the holes are quite long um, and in here as well, uh, which I'm going to comment on later on, for example, in here. And um, the Altex is still left on the nipples in here for example this is this is how it seals because it just gets pushed by the air pressure into the spokes into the nipples and that's why it doesn't leak at all not really cool uh, outcome after 20,000 kilometers I'm gonna clean this up and get it ready for installation of the um, new stuff. Let's pause here for a minute and talk about why would this happen. And I have two main reasons why this would happen. The first thing is that the installation of my Altex was not actually done properly. So when you install Altex, the first thing you do is you take these little patches. Uh, these are um, glass reinforced um, sticky patches and each sticky patch goes onto the nipple and um, it protects the nipple well more importantly it protects the outex sealing sticky layer which is gonna go and be installed like this so that you can actually tighten the spokes so the spoke is moving around and you can tighten the spoke and you're not compromising the seal the sticky layer so those patches unfortunately haven't been installed uh, which i knew um, they told me that they forgot to do that um, and i did tighten the spokes now the second layer so then you put the sticky tape which is this one which is a double-sided sticky tape and then on top of it, it goes a protective white layer. And this layer protects the double-sided sticky tape from the debris and from mechanical wear and tear. Now, how would you introduce mechanical wear and tear into a tubeless system? Well, you would put a tube into the wheel and you can do that. There's nothing wrong with it. You just take the valve out and you put the tube in and you can ride in emergency so for example you dent the rim or you cut the tire or something like that you can ride to the next repair shop and change your tire or fix the rim now i did something else <laughs> 
I took the knobblies, uh, put them on over the winter and they were tube tires and I didn't want to risk running a tubeless rim with a tube tire without the tube. So what I did, I put the tubes in for about 5,000 kilometers. And that will create stress on the layer and it will create a mechanical wear and tear on the Altex. This has been confirmed by the Altex themselves. I wrote them before making this video and they said they haven't tested and they have not designed the system to be used with tubes for a very long time. You can use the, this protective layer is exactly there for that reason, but you can use that for the emergencies. So what happened is that the friction between the tube and the protective layer, the heat and everything compromised the stickiness of the sticky layer and basically it peeled off. So that's what happened and that's the lessons which um, I learned. That's a perchlor ethylene. This is a uh, not green and environmental friendly um, option. Use alcohol. It is stubborn indeed. I have cleaned the rim uh, really carefully and also I have peeled off all the old Altex from the nipples as much as I could. And now what I need to do is to um, apply the tape um, onto the rim. Now there is a massive debate whether to grind the nipples flat or not. And the reason why that makes the installation of the Altex or for that matter this 3M tape easier is that obviously if you're sticking the tape there over the really tall nipple uh, you will have this area which is not going to be easily sticking onto the rim so that's where you need to work the tape on to there um, in order to seal it. If you grind it off then it's going to be much easier because obviously you will not um, need uh, that much of the work to do. And also now um, it comes the time for these little guys so they need to come on there like this. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just apply the tape on the rim. I'm not gonna uh, grind the nipples uh, because I always said it's not that necessary so I'm gonna stick with my word. When I posted that my Altex is dead everybody was like oh you need to use something else. You need to use 3M 4411N or 112N. Uh, the difference is that this is a one millimeter thick and the other one is two millimeters thick. What this is, is, and I went to the dealership of the M3 in Czech Republic to have a chat. And uh, the guy was really, really good there, by the way. And they basically said that this thing is a sealant uh, which you can use uh, to waterproof and seal literally anything. They can use it in construction and all that. You can paint over that. Um, it's um, minus what? Minus 40 to minus 95 degrees um, resistant. And um, it is really um, flexible. You can just put it everywhere. And people use this to seal the, uh, the rim, basically to replace the Altex. Now, that is absolutely valid, and I think this would work. It's even more stickier than the Altex uh, sticky layer itself. The only difference, and there's a really big difference actually, by the way, is that um, this is one-sided, and the um, protective film, uh, which is on this one, is not as strong as this thing, white thing which uh, Altex gives you. And um, the gentleman in the 3M basically said that it does peel off very, very, very easily. And what it leaves is the quite 
gentle um, and smooth um, surface of the tape uh, from basically the outside. This is not meant as a protective layer for the tape. So that's one of the main differences with this one. Another thing which people use is that they basically say, okay, there is a um, polyurethane um, kind of a glue, which I think is M3 Marine Sealant 5200. The 5200 is important because that is the range in 3M, which is polyurethane. Everything which is silicone, the gentleman in that M3 set, you just don't use it. And what people do is, that they, people put the silicone, not the silicon, the polyurethane on the, on the nipples, and then they put this one on. And when I told the gentleman that, that that's what I found, he was like, well, it doesn't make much sense because this makes exactly the same thing as the uh, polyurethane, and also, you wouldn't be able to turn the nipples, or you will, but then the polyurethane would be breaking because obviously you will just rotate it, right? So um, he was basically saying, just use this, try to use this. Um, it's not designed for sealing the, the rims, obviously, but it should work absolutely fine. Except, and that's what he said, is that the layer or the tape after you take this protective thing uh, off, and it's gonna peel off really during the installation, um, it's gonna be really gentle. So if you want to put the tube in, he's like, well, that's not probably gonna last a very long time. And that is one of the main disadvantages of this solution. And also, you need to get the patches, right? So. You get this tape, this is 5 meters by 50 millimeters, so it fits the tenor RM, but you still need to put something on, on here. And um, people sent me obviously links to Amazon listings, but they are not the glass ones. And I asked the uh, gentleman in 3M, and he said, we have this, we make this, uh, but if you want to make it as a little, like, um, circles, we can cut it for you um, for the order. I'm going to start applying the tape like this. And the important bit is to be straight as possible. And I will slowly go and push the tape everywhere when I need. And when I come this way, I'm going to apply it to probably about here to overlay it, and then I'm gonna cut here a hole for the stem. So, let's see how it goes. Um, no pressure. <laughs> um, also, the gentleman in M3 said that um, do it uh, precisely, because if you stick this one onto it, it's gonna be really difficult to get it off. So what we want is one really straight line and I'm gonna try it's binding there. Oh, that's sticky. So each nipple needs to be sealed properly and you need to take your time. And what I'm doing is then I'm just pulling the tape and uh, putting it so it stands there like this. And now I have to seal the nipple on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull this and then here I'm gonna put this side first and seal it very well and then with my finger I'm just gonna press everywhere around it so it's sealed and then I'm going to expel the air to the sides. So now I have the the nipple sealed from all the sides. And this is slowly just going around, uh, moving the tape. And this is the finished product. Um, I did um, go over in here and where the stem is gonna be um, one more time like this. That's similar concept the Outex does. 
and uh, we have the uh, rim sealed. To be honest, it was really simple. Again, grinding the nipples, I think that is not necessary to be honest. And um, the main difference here is that this tape is very, very flexible and very easy to push with your fingers everywhere where you need. So this is something um, how the Aldex would actually look like as well, um, because you would have the um, double-sided sticky tape, which has a green film on it. You would peel it off and then um, you would apply um, this protective hard shell. Now, this hard shell is really useful for tire irons and all the kind of stuff, and that is missing from here. And it's not visible from the camera, but this is really, really, really soft. Now, let's inflate it for the first time and see if it pops. One more. Okay, and so far so good. So what's now going to happen is that the layer is going to seal within the nipples. And two things can happen. Either I have applied it, applied it in the wrong way and I made a mistake and the air is going to go through the nipples, or the, all the air which is in the nipples is going to be pushed out and it's going to seal absolutely and completely. So I saw that this spoke was leaking, was bubbling a little tiny bit and it's not bubbling anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, lovely Meta Series 7 Plus ready for adventure. Ah, just very quick few notes about the process and the solution. So what I would like to say is that um, this is going to definitely work. It is really good product. I think it's going to go and seal the rim. No question asked, really. Um, the problem I see is um, A, you need to get the little patches for the nipples and B, um, this is not going to stay when you apply it which means that you don't have any protective layer over the ceiling tape. You can get the thicker one, but still, if you actually uh, hit it with the tire iron, it's gone. Now, another thing is, this is really, really soft. It is designed to be soft, which means that you can push it everywhere and it works brilliantly. What is a problem that if you put a tire on, as the tire is in the middle where the layer is and you are kind of working it on, you can actually damage it with the tire. So that's one more thing. Um, I think it's gonna be uh, absolutely okay. I really hope that somebody found this useful. I'm really sorry for the long video, so I'm not gonna say you enjoyed it, but hopefully it was useful. It was about outtakes and the other stuff. I think it was important to put it out. So see you later. Cheers.